Today we're going to be having a look at a package called 2DDL Pro or 2D Dynamic Lighting Pro. This is a package for 2D developers that want to add lighting and shadows to their games that, that look um, fantastic but aren't quite sure how to do that themselves. So we'll start by having a look at the product page. At the time of recording this video it is an average 4 star review. We're on version 1.4.2 which was released in August. The original package came out in December 2014. Uh, so uh, it's currently November at this time, so it's uh, been a few months since an update, but uh, no reason to worry just yet. And currently this package will run you $29 uh, USD. Okay, so I'm just going to import this uh, so we can start having a look at the contents of the package. Okay, so inside the package we have the source code. Uh, add-ons folder. So the add-ons folder looks like mostly scripts that uh, assist when you're running the application. There's a bunch of scenes related to bugs. We have some examples here which we'll have a look at shortly. And prefabs. So when you're using uh, this package you're mostly uh, grabbing prefabs and dragging them into your scene. Let's have a look at some of these examples. Okay so here we have a little dungeon game you can see that there's a light flicker effect and uh, that's also casting shadows onto a surface. I'm going to have a look at another scene. Uh, you can see here that there's a light source, uh, there's some lens flares that come off of that light source and also shadow effects. Over here when we have a look in the hierarchy we can see that this package is pretty lightweight. Um, all of this uh, is working uh, based on one object which is which has a uh, 2D dynamic light script on it. They can make modifications there, um, adjust the radius, adjust the number of segments, so that'll be the quality of your shadows. Change shadow colors, uh, here's uh, what we saw in that add-ons folder, so we can turn on different effects. There's a whole bunch of settings down here, uh, we can see our lens flare script as well, so you can also make modifications to the uh, lens flare effect. Okay, so here's another one that's uh, showing off that uh, flicker effect again. You can see here in the shadows uh, how they um, slightly dance around uh, with the flicker effect. Okay, so this scene uh, is all about showing multiple lights. So if I click somewhere, you can see that it's added a different light. And uh, the same objects are having multiple shadows from multiple lights. That blends together pretty well. Okay. Now with three lights it's still working pretty efficiently. Even with a heap of lights it's still uh, running around 60 frames per second so that's pretty good. This one's interesting, there's like a bomb effect. You can see down the bottom left that there's a status and uh, when the explosion hits me it says hit. If I hide behind something then it doesn't say hit. So you can use the event system in the background if you need to know if something is in the shadow or in the light. Okay, now this is an interesting one. If you have a look at these boxes, the blue boxes, uh, you can see that when they're in the shadows, they disappear completely. So in this uh, one, it's hiding anything that uh, does not appear within the light range. Okay, here's just another shadow demonstration with a vehicle. So you can do a lot of interesting things with these shadows. And once again, this sample uh, shows how you can hide things that aren't in the light. This would be cool for like a Mario type level where the ghosts get hidden when the light isn't on them. Okay, now what this one demonstrates is uh, if you have a look at the sprite in the middle, you can see that there is a little bit of light uh, on it that follows around with the light source. So it doesn't just have to be hard shadows, you can actually light objects up at um, differing extents. So the light source is affecting the background a lot here, but only affecting this uh, object a little bit. Okay, so I think you're starting to get the idea of what you can do with this package now. But how easy is it to say add into an existing project? So it is quite simple, it doesn't overwrite any of your project settings at all. It can be uh, added uh, quite simply in that regard. You will need uh, to set up your layers that uh, are going to be the casters and the receivers. So that's just something to keep in mind, you will need to have uh, two layers for that. 
when you're adding objects to your scene you can just come up to game object 2d dl and you have a bunch of lights uh, different types of casters etc that you can be added into your scene okay so would I recommend this package for anyone wanting to add uh, 2d lighting to their scene well yes and no it's really easy to set up and use uh, you will have to be mindful though that it does come with a bit of a performance hit as you saw in one of the previous uh, examples that uh, we're able to run games uh, with a lot of different lights um, still up around 60 frames per second so that was pretty good there's a lot of functionality here and it's really easy to work with so it's a thumbs up from me thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you have any suggestions for other asset store products we should check out, please leave them in the comments below. Also here we try to only review paid products, uh, which obviously costs a lot of money, so if you would like to help out, uh, there's also a link in the description to where you can leave a tip or donation, uh, which would be definitely most appreciated, and help us to continue making good content like this. If you have made Unity Store assets and you want to tell us about them, uh, please reach out to me at applycreative.com forward slash contact. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.